Hello friends, today I will show you how to create biometric login with the fingerprints and the pattern. In this Android project, I'm going to use a Java as the main language. And now let's name the project. Okay, so in here, I'm going to choose the Java and we're going to click finish. Okay, wait, why this page is not going to change here? Okay, now, um, firstly, I have to place the Gradle file. So I'm going to copy from here and paste it. I then going to start syncs the project. So to access that feature, the fingerprint feature or biometric feature, I have to add the permission in the Android manifest file. Okay, with this uses um, biometric. Okay, so all right. So I will design very simple layout in this activity main .xml. I'm going to change this to the linear layout compact and i'm going to set the orientation and the gravity to the center so that the, all the children in this uh, section is going to place in the center screen device and i'm going to insert the i make view for decoration with the fingerprint icon so in here i'm going to create a vector asset which is located in the drawable file and i'm going to search for it fingerprint okay in here I'm going to remove the suffix name and I'm going to change the size to the 96 and about the color I'm going to change it to the blue for look a better one okay so we can use that now okay I'm going to insert the tech view for display some information with this biometric. And then I will insert two buttons. One is for uh, demonstrate how login only the fingerprint. And the next one is going to uh, perform the fingerprint or the pattern or pin code something like that for login, okay? The important thing in here are the ID, okay? Remember, the tag view ID and these two button ID, okay? Now, let's start to implement in the Java class. I'm going to define a buttons on the global that's because we easily to use it in another methods later on. So let's find those ID. Then I'm going to pass the reference each of it. Okay. For this, we will create a new methods to handle with the checking the biometric. If the support device or there is no hardware sensor or something like that. To check that, um, we'll instance the biometric manager class to make sure you import that from the Android X okay now I can uh, start checking with the status with the device support or not I will use it uh, with the switch statements or if else whatever you want so I'm going to start calling can authenticate and this actually we have the overloading methods for this one is deprecated but if we jump inside that methods we can see that they call another methods with the default parameter anyway don't care about that it's just an api okay so i'm going to choose the methods with the parameter one with the bitwise or strong and the weak one okay so at first i will check when the sensor or or the fingerprint is fine 
Then I'm going to uh, set the string information that I will create now, okay? And this info string, I will display with the tag view info that I have uh, reserved in the XML file. Remember, I have uh, placed uh, some ID on that control on that uh, tag view, okay? So don't forget, uh, put the frag element. And then if it's fail in this case, no hardware detect, I will set to another info. I'm going to copy and paste it, just change the enum value only, okay? In here, I will set that the feature uh, currently and available. The last one, we detect that if the user didn't uh, set any security, such as a fingerprint pattern or pin code, something like that, we would uh, let them know about that thing, okay? For uh, the fixed statements condition, if not a bold condition, it's not much, we would say a no case. And then I'm going to start set those tags to the tag view. All right, so Additionally, we know those uh, status, so we can set the disable or enable button easily. Our first button, we will do the action only the fingerprint. So I'm going to set it based on the parameter. For the fingerprint or a pinned button, I will set it always true. Now we can call that methods and use in here. For the success, I will set into true, and all of those I'm going to set to false only, okay? And this last condition, I will add the second parameter to handle open the setting, which means that we uh, address them to open the setting security to add their fingerprint or pin if the systems not detect that they didn't have set any any anything any security yet so let's create an overloading methods with this second parameter at first i'm going to call it the enable button with a parameter and then if the enroll value is false i will not let it execute at the next lines by return it back and now let's define the intents to open the security setting actively Okay, now let's do on the callback action where we make the authentication. And I will instance the executor for submit the runnable task. Then I instance the biometric prompts where the first parameter is the activity. And the second is the executor. And the last one is the callback authenticated. And at this callback, there are three methods to override it. Okay, I'm going to remove the things. So we have the methods on error that is just like you can't log in or unsuccessful login or there is a have some error login with your credential information. And we can know that with the error string here. Secondly, it's a very simple to understand is when everything is correct, a successful login. 
okay and the last method just like an error but there is no message returned to know the reason now we start to find action click on those buttons a do action will show the dialog to activate scan fingerprint or input the pin code so i'm going to create a new method for that dialog with the return value as the uh, prompt info builder because it have a little bit different to set up with the dialog i will explain next the dialog has the title and the title with the bold text and then the subtitle just like a description okay let's start define the button lock and fingerprint or pin with the click listener and this one for the fingerprint only and this for the fingerprint with the pin so let's start define the dialog I'm going to copy this class, this class name to instain the new object. And then I will set the negative button with the cancel text. And we start to use the callbacks to authenticate and show the dialog when we click the button. At the same things, I'm going to copy those codes, paste it in here. But we may change this to this method set the y credential allow to true which is means we replace the console button with another button to choose the pattern or pin code all right let's take a look all this code again Okay, so now let's test the application. Okay, we can see the text information show here. It means that our device sensor is working fine. And I'm going to try this green button first. Okay, the prompt dialog is open up to confirm about the credential data. The fingerprint is recognized and invoke the callback methods on success and as the toss message show. If I touch outside the dialog, it's going to invoke the on error callback. And you can see here on the negative button is the console. But if I click this purple button, the negative button is used to pattern that I don't implement anything just change a line of code okay if you click that it's going to ask to input the pattern you may not see this for the security reason okay this line of code will change the negative button for the bonus tip with my testing on the samsung galaxy s6h which is running on the android 5.1 the methods that we define to check in switch case statement it falls into no hardware available that you can see here with the tech view info and the button is disabled but instead of that it's work fine even if i set up with the fingerprint or pin code as you can see any other ones um, is the lg g6 which is running on the android 9 but the fingerprint sensor is broken i can use the patterns that you might cannot see what I'm going to tap in here. All right. Anyway, if you want the source code, please check the link in the description, which is I'm um, placed with my second channel. Please check it out. Finally, I hope you enjoy and consider to subscribe and share this video. See you in the next.